Okay, the objective of this video is to understand how the changes in the dimensions of a rectangular prism affect the surface area. So if we've got one rectangular prism here, and the dimensions of that rectangular prism are two wide and three long and one high. So I'm going to write those down up here. It's got a length of three, three, a width of two, and a height of one. Well, now we have to figure out the surface area for that. Right, and we use, we use smiley, smiley guy. guy. And on smiley guy, we're going to do three by two by one. Okay, and so then we're going to do our first little thing, and that means three times two. Three times two would be six. That's how many squares are on the top. Right, on just this one face here. But there's two of them, so, so I need six and six more. Right. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to do two times one. Which is two. Which is two. And that's like here. I have two <coughs> here, but then I also have two over here, so I need to write it twice. Mm -hmm. And then I have three times one, which would give me the other side. Which is going to be this one right here, but since there's two sides to it, they're the same. I need three. And now if I want the whole thing, I have to add. I'd rather add a two and a three together and a two and a three together. Two plus three is five. Yeah. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And 5 and 5 is 10, and I like 10s. I do too. And 6 and 6 is 12. So 12 plus 10 is? 22. So the surface area is 22, 22 square inches. inches. Right. Or s square inches can be written this way. Right. All right, so I'm going to erase this. And now if we double all the dimensions. Okay, so I'm going to double the dimensions. And we talked about this before when we were doubling the, we were talking about volume, that we actually end up having eight little blocks. But you think that the surface area is also eight times bigger? Because that's what we decided with the volume. I... I don't think so. Let's, let's write it down on our chart. Okay, so now the length is now 6. Okay. And the width is? 4. And the height is 2. two. And we, we need, need to, to do, do another smiley, smiley guy again. 6 by 4 by 2. So 6 times 4, that gives us the top. That 24, but I have two of those because I have the bottom. And then 4 times 2 is 8. And I have the opposite side of that one. So there's two more of those. And 6 times 2 is 12, and I need two of those. Ooh, I, I want to add the 12 and the 8 together. Because that 12. gives me 10 or 20. 20. And the other one. Oops, you know what? I'm going to do this. There you go. So I can stack it on top. And then 24 plus 24, I can do that. It's 48. It's 48. So 48, 58, 68, 78, 88. 88. So that's going to be 88 square inches or 88 square inches written like that. I'm going to rewrite this one up here too. So if I look at these and compare them, um, what number times 22 gives me 88? It's not 8. No. It looks to me like it's 4. Because 22 times 4 would be 88. So it looks to me like it's 8, I'm sorry, 4 times bigger. Yeah, so let, let's write this down, but I think we need to try it again. Okay. So if we're doing two dimensions, because each one of these are squares. Right. We're talking about just um, we're talking about just a flat surface that just has two dimensions, not the cubes. 
That would be three dimensions, mm -hmm. just this flat part. So two dimensions, if we're following what we did for the other one, for volume, we'd be two times two. Right. Would equal four times bigger. Right. But I'm not sure that's going to work. Okay, well let's just try another one then. Um, how about, well let's do four, three, two. Four and three by two. Okay. All right. So we've got four by three by two. So four times three is twelve. Twelve. And I need two of those. And three times two is six. Six and two of those. And eight times two is I'm sorry. Four times two is eight and two of those. All right. Now I like this twelve and this eight of you. Okay. 12 and 8 is 20. 20. And the other one is also 20. 12 and 8 is 20. And 6 and 6 is 12. Okay. So I'd, I like to start here. 20, 40, 52. 52. So then let's, oh, square sorry. Inches. Square inches. Or, in, or inches squared. Or 52. Which is that. So let's double everything again. All right. So then we have eight. We have six. And this four times two is eight. Three times two is six. And two times two is four. Okay. So. You do small guy down here. Yeah. Eight by six by four. So we have eight times six is 48. And I need two of them. Opposite sides. Right. Six, six times, times four is twenty-four, and I need two of them. Eight times four is thirty-two, and I need two of them. Okay. Now I need to add. Um, these are tens again. Yeah. So can I just do two plus eight is ten? Yes. And eight plus two is ten. So, so I'm at twenty, 20. and two fours would be eight, so twenty-eight. Eight. Carry the two. Look, here's fives. There's a five and there's a five. So, so those, those all these equal ten. Ten plus eight is eighteen. And two more is twenty. Two hundred eight square inches, or two hundred eight inches square. square inches written this. So now we need to decide if. I multiply 52 times 4, does that give me 208? Well, 52 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 4 is 20, that's 208. So it looks to me like if you double all the dimensions, then your surface area is 4 times bigger. Right. So double the dimensions for a surface area because there are two dimensions for a surface area because it's a length and a width. Well, let's look at this. Two times two would be two to the second power. Right, two dimensions, second power, surface area measured in squares. Mm -hmm. And squares can be written like this, which those exponents match. Good, so it works.